Come on. Do you really know what turns you on? Bound to confound, wow. Your birthday love and lust report has that answer. Be prepared to be shocked. We know everything with your date of birth. This video covers it all, top to bottom. What's your greatest strength? How do you love? How you love? And your greatest lesson, which is often a weakness. These videos are so accurate, you will be stunned and probably turn the volume on low. Check out Secrets of Birthdays at secretsofbirthdays.com. So Namaste and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Orbits Edition. From my webcam to yours, I'm Christopher Ray Manwatecki, your soul biographer, here to help you put the pieces of your story together on Earth. And we are finally in spring. My heart is pounding as yours. If not, I've got a class on Saturday. I'll jumpstart your heart. It's just a 90-minute seminar. It's a webcam workshop. We're working interactively on camera. And by the way, some of my best comedy comes out in these classes. Just guess anyone who's taken it. They're at soulmart.me for more information and tickets. And I got another little exciting announcement. We are going back to our soulgarden.tv brand. That's because we're expanding. We've got soulgarden.me, the community, and soulgarden.tv, our nonprofit television network, which we say now is for the people, by the people. And we are here really dedicated to help people develop themselves on camera, as well as continue to develop the people that want to help others. We're all about the light. We're all about helping you step into the light. Well, it's time to get running. The sun is in Aries. We don't have any major, major transits in our way for a while, and things are going to pick up speed now. Most of the inner transformations have begun. So without further ado, let's take a better look at you and take the Ascension Elevator up. Hello my Aquarians and welcome to 33,000 feet where we'll get a bird's eye view of you. This is for Aquarius, Aquarius Risings and if you bought a Lightcaster report card for the Social Architects personality type. Well, it's an exciting time. Not really. Actually, it's been pretty turbulent up until now. We're moving into Chapter 2 of Sun and Aries. Up until this last holiday weekend, it has been mind games and a lot of clearing. But finally, hopefully, you turned your back on some sort of old attitude or fight inside or inner dialogue. We're talking about all the way to childhood, turn it back. This week we're gonna move forward now with that clean mind and being able to compare things without any kind of drag. In other words, you have cleared the viruses hopefully out of your mind and now you get to witness the awesome power of an Aquarius innovation mind, hopefully, right? The universe is helping you, there's no question there. This week we start at step 11, by the end we're at step 18. This means that you will go from healing your thoughts and attitude up to knowing where to point your thoughts and maybe if you're a messenger, you might be constructing an actual book message or coming to some conclusions there. That's great. And look at the fertility ahead. Venus and Mars conjuncting at 20 degrees by the end of the week. That means creativity working instantly. So we're all going to go like instant mashed potatoes, in your case, intellectually and creatively in that way. All right, so this is my favorite part of the show. You get to see what is above is also below. And I like to loop it. So let's start with Sunday and go to Sunday. On Sunday, it's sunny and social for Easter for you, whether you go to Easter or not. Chiron rules a day. And so today's a day of really finding some peace of mind for yourself. And you will find, uh, if you have been fighting with yourself or others, I think you'll find that Sunday, not just because it's a holiday, I think you're going to find that you come to a peace of mind. It's no question about that. Uh, the moon in Sagittarius makes you social. And this pulls you out nonetheless. On Monday, it's sunny and futuristic, I do believe, for you. That's because the moon is pulling you towards where you feel like you belong out there in the society. And Jupiter rules a day, helping you expand. So your mind is more open. It's a good day to learn. It's a good day to open up conversation or negotiation. And emotions are feeling out where you might belong in the world. Now, this square on Monday uh, goes through the week mostly, but it is about breaking apart a square we've had for a long time. Uh, now you are taking some active steps to do that. On the one hand, it is that search for inner faith, search for a sign, search for affirmation. Now, uh, you know where not to go. You know what boogeyman's not to surrender to. You know what self-sabotage not to do. And so just go forward with what you know. That's what I say with Pluto and Capricorn. 
But when it comes to the sun and when it comes to your thoughts, well, it may take all week, frankly, to get that right attitude into play, but we'll get it together. On Tuesday, it's showers, chance of storms. Your own planet Uranus rolls a day, so there is breakdown during the day. And that breakdown, of course, happens with your own thoughts or perhaps a negotiation or conversation. So it's that two steps forward, one step back. That's what today is, one step back. The moon in Capricorn is what adds to it that inner faith is tested. So this is the day where you might feel tempted back into the old uh, demons or self-sabotage. This is where you have to be strong. That's why I set you up for it. Remember, the universe has given us two yods that last all week long. What does that mean? Well, it means there's some clarity as to what to focus on. Saturn retrograde in Scorpio. uh, And then on the other hand, Jupiter in Gemini, which is going direct in 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 a very powerful way. All right? So... Uh, On the one hand, Jupiter and Gemini, you want to uh, follow your dreams. You want to move forward with personal love. You want to move forward with the expansion of what is uh, possible at all. All right. There's no question it's time to move forward with all the above. And the universe is encouraging you uh, to do just that. On the other hand, Saturn retrograde in Scorpio says, don't slip backwards with what you know you're not supposed to do in career. Don't fall into the old decisions. Don't get pushed into or bullied in the old decisions. And that's basically what the odds are saying. So if you follow, fo- follow those two things, I swear I heard a cuss word in there, uh, everything uh, should be okay. Says so the universe, tell me and write me if, and tell me if that's true. <laughs> On Wednesday, it's cloudy and I think somewhat retreated. The moon in Capricorn definitely makes you certainly spiritual and withdrawn. Mercury makes you pensive on a month about thinking. So you're thinking about thinking, you're certainly out of there. But you're probably gonna have an intellectual breakthrough in an Einstein way, just think through it. And if you can, call you know call for the day or at least give yourself the time to. On Thursday, it's sunny and cool though. Things really do shift because the moon moves in your sign and emotions and ego go hand in hand. So you probably did figure it out yesterday, whatever it is, you know, only you would know. Venus rules the day, so giving and receiving is exchange. If you had negotiations and they broke off, well, now they go back. And that means with yourself even and your own insanity or creativity will flow again. If you had a writer's block, I think you're going to find you're feeling uh, pro-positive. On uh, Friday, Neptune rules the day, so it's cloudy, but because the moon's in your sign, it's still cool. Great day to negotiate. You're going to have the upper hand being super intuitive, and this is because you're just channeling literally through your mind. So this is a day where you can channel good works, channel thoughts, channel conversations, pick up on others. Neptune ruling the day does mean that we move to the Pisces issue just a little bit. So you might be channeling issues of soul capital, self-esteem, working out some of that, which we're going to play the next day here on Saturday. Sunny and valuable on Saturday, so yesterday's intuition is today's treasure. I would invest in that. The moon moves into Pisces, so now feelings go from confidence to the ability to manifest or amplify or feel that confidence or rev up the team. And what that turns into is abundance because what you believe you feel you are worth is what the universe will match by law of attraction. So today we are doing two things. One, you are deciding and committing to an attitude or a conversation or perhaps that negotiation comes to a close and you decide what you're going to commit to. There's that. And at the same time, you are feeling what you're worth. So really, it's a great, powerful manifestation potential. On Sunday, it's sunny and manifesting. Hey, that's the way it works. Motion, just hold space, love and trust that you will be moving forward and take some action with your mind. Move forward, speak up, make the bid, close the eBay thing if you were negotiating, you know, but take some action. Uh, You maybe publish a blog, you know, put that message out. Show the universe you intend to be a messenger by actually doing so on Sunday. All right, let's fly home. Well, that wraps up another week of Soul Horoscopes Orbits Edition. And don't forget, if you'd like to be watched over by me every day of the week, come check out at GA Text Me, the GA email or texting service. It's only one penny for the first week, and you can see what it's like to have me in your back pocket. Well, until next week, live, love, be. Soul.